Hi everyone, I'm Katie, an infant toddler Montessori teacher and registered early childhood educator. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to make art with toddlers. Five frustration-free tips. One of the most common questions that I get from parents is, how do I get my child interested in art? And the reality is, is that there is no definitive month or year where we can say this is the age where children show an interest in art. It happens at different times for every child. Year after year, I had some toddlers in my class who showed a strong interest in the art shelf, while others had very little interest in it. And it's not that the children that weren't showing an interest weren't creative or inspired or any of those things, it's that they were busy doing other things. They just preferred to spend their time at school doing other activities besides art. So it's really important that your child is interested. It's really important that they're showing an interest in art. And when they are, here are five frustration-free tips. Tip number one, process over product. The most important thing to remember with art activities with toddlers is that they are much more focused on the process than they are the product. Art is an opportunity for toddlers to explore the art materials, to work with their hands, to explore their creativity and to develop their own unique creative expression rather than completing a project. Toddlers enjoy more open-ended art activities rather than activities like coloring sheets or complicated crafts. Tip number two they need to explore with their hands. Present opportunities for tactile exploration within the art activities. Children learn so much about the world through their hands, so opportunities to explore art materials with their hands is going to be really beneficial to their development and likely pique their interest. Activities like finger painting or working with Play-Doh, they want to work with their hands. They want to get that tactile feedback. They want to be able to work, develop, and strengthen their hands. They will eventually show an interest in using tools like paint brushes and things like that, but the younger they are, the more likely they'll want to just simply explore with their hands. Tip number three. Prepare for the potential mess. A helpful strategy for messier art activities is to prepare a cleanup station ahead of time. So this could be some damp cloths, some paper towel, a mop, some extra clothes. And remember, every mess is an opportunity to develop practical life skills too. This doesn't mean that you're allowing your toddler to make a mess. You can definitely establish limits that work for you, but it's important to keep in mind that if you uh, put a big container of paint in front of an 18 month old or in front of a two year old, there is a high probability that they are going to want to use all of that paint, resulting in, chances are, quite a big mess. So with that being said, you can also prepare for a mess ahead of time by limiting the amount of art materials that you give to your child. Rather than giving them the full container of paint, just give them a little bowl with a small amount of paint because you can always add more. My rule of thumb in the classroom with these types of messier activities is only put out as much as you're willing to clean up. Hey, I just wanted to interrupt and say that we have a store, if you didn't already know. We sell a variety of Montessori materials, open-ended toys, and children's furniture, and it's quick and easy to order them online. We also have a store located on Danforth Avenue if you would prefer to shop in person. We'd love it if you stopped by, but for now, let's get back to the video. Tip number four is observe for signs of readiness. If your child is still mouthing things, then they might not be ready for art activities just yet. Art activities can be very challenging when a child is still mouthing things because you have to supervise them very closely and intervene anytime you see the art materials going into their mouths. You can always use art materials that are safe for exploration like that. You can find, um, you know, taste safe finger paints, you can find edible Play-Doh, um, but you might want to just wait until they're finished mouthing things uh, so that you can have more peace of mind while they're doing those activities. And then finally, tip number five, show them how to create art 
like a toddler. So when I was training to become a Montessori teacher, I found this to be incredibly, it was like a light bulb moment. Um, when you are first introducing your child to an art activity, you want to do the art the way that they would do the art, wherever they are at developmentally. So rather than sitting beside them and drawing a tree or drawing a car, you want to teach them how to scribble first. You want to sit beside them and you want to just do a few squiggly lines, maybe a couple of straight lines, and maybe a dot or two, because they're going to be able to sort of follow your lead if you're showing them that way, rather than sitting down and just first drawing a tree or a car or whatever it might be. A toddler is not going to be able to draw those things. And so they could end up feeling discouraged because they're not able to draw like you are. So you want to do your best to try to remember to scribble with them rather than drawing these elaborate pictures. It's really important to follow their lead with art activities. So as I said, you wanna start with squiggly lines, some straight lines and maybe some dots. But if you're sitting with your child and you observe that they're able to draw circles, then you can draw circles too. If they're starting to draw faces, you can certainly guide them on how to draw a face. You just want to remember to draw at their age rather than your age. <laughs> the purpose of art activities is to develop creativity and personal expression. So you wanna keep that in mind. You want to show them how to handle the materials, not show them how to draw specific things. Don't get me wrong, that's not to say that you can't sit with your child and draw things. I mean, I can't tell you how many times sitting with the toddlers and having them to ask me to draw things turned into an incredibly valuable language activity. You know, I remember one uh, example in particular where I was sitting with a child and he really liked uh, fire trucks. And so we sat down together at the chalkboard and he told me how to draw a fire truck. He said, first, you need to draw the body of the truck and then you need to draw the wheels and so on and so forth. So it's really just most important to follow your child's lead when it comes to these types of art activities. Now, if you're interested in learning about the three stages of scribbling, there are three stages of scribbling that occur before a child starts making pieces of art. We do have a blog post and it's called, Why Does My Toddler Only Seem to Scribble? And I will link to that blog post in the description below. It's really interesting. It'll help you to understand the different stages that they go through before they start, you know, drawing pictures of things. So those are my five frustration-free tips. I use them in the classroom all the time and I really found them to be very helpful in helping me to manage the art activities with the children. So give them a try at home. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, it really helps our channel if you like and subscribe. This helps other parents to find our channel. And if you have a question, feel free to comment your question below and we'll answer it in a future video. Take care, bye.